Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're looking at a porch lucaria afra lilyput. Um, this is one that I planted last summer and put some wire on it. Um, don't look really close because it looks like I was in a hurry when I did it. <clears throat> but um, but I, I tried to when I when I potted it. Um, I just wanted to add some movement to it, you know. And I did, but it, it looks like I've got some overlap wire and, you know, it's just kind of messy, but it accomplished the, the goal, I guess, to add some movement in it. So today we're going to look at it, um, just check to see if any of that wire is biting in. If it is, we'll have to remove it and maybe add some new wire. See if I'm happy with the initial shape that I did to it. Um, maybe reposition some. And just kind of see see what maintenance we need to do to it, just to kind of keep it keep it moving along. So, <clears throat> a couple things I'm seeing other than the wire. Um, I like this branch over here. This is the front. Um, I like this branch here, but this branch looks like a back branch, which it kind of is, or side. But it it's a bar branch right across from this guy and I don't want that um, just so I don't develop a bulge or some inverse taper in there so since I like the way this looks as a, a side branch um, unfortunately I think we're gonna have to move remove this one and we kind of lose that that back branch but um, I think we have to just so we don't develop that bulge in there and I do have this small branch here, <clears throat> excuse me, that I'm going to let continue to grow, and that could end up being my, my back branch that I need to kind of fill this area in. Got this little nub here, but it, I think it's growing down too, too much, so I don't want to use that, so we'll just go ahead and remove that. Let's clean this cut up a little bit. And then, what else we got going on? So I like the I like the shape. It's kind of curving. We've got the right branch comes back over here. We've got this left branch that's swooping down. Just take some of this growth back. Got some congestion up in here. Let's take some of that back. This little little nub in here. I'll get rid of that. Get this pointing down. I'll get rid of that little piece. Yeah, I think that just opened that up so you can kind of see the, the movement of the, the branch. Um, as we move up the tree, if and I've mentioned it in my other videos that I like my trees to bend, lean them forward a little bit, but I think this one might be a little bit too much, so we'll straighten him back up just a little bit. And then as we work up the tree, I don't like, because it looks like I ran out of wire. Um, my wire ends here, but this part here is, is too straight. And that's distracting for me, so I think I might try to unwind some of this. I might just have to cut it off, but I'll see if I can unwind it a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it because these branches are still pretty thin and I don't want to take the chance on breaking any or snapping any off. We've made it this far and kind of got it shaped. I don't want to set it back. So we'll just kind of work down and remove some of this wire.
think I'll go farther down too. Get my pliers to get a hold of that a little easier. It's still holding that branch down, but <clears throat> encouraging thing, it looks like the the wire, the trunk is holding its shape, so that's good. Doesn't look like it's really biting in too bad. Let me take a look. No, it's still pretty loose down there, so I think we'll leave that. Um, might apply some new wire along the trunk here and try to fix this this bend up here. Let's see if I can find the uh, right thickness of wire here. I think this will work. Let's see if we can get a piece long enough. We'll go there. I always like to keep it a little a little bit longer just to make sure I have enough and then I can always cut it off. I think we'll start down here. Just wrap it around the trunk to get it anchored. And then work it on up the tree. And weave it in through the branches so we don't smash any. And it doesn't have to be, when these trees are this young, it doesn't have to be super tight. Because um, it'll, it'll bend them just fine, keeping it on a little looser. And that way you don't have to remove the wire as often so it doesn't it doesn't bite in as soon still needs to be tight enough to where it manipulates the branch the way you want it but it doesn't have to be super tight especially when they're this young <clears throat> so let's stand it up a little bit straighter and then Bent back and get a little arch built into this so it's not it's not so straight. So I'll go ahead and cut this excess wire off so it's not distracting over there. And we might have to
just trying to think because I've got a couple of these branches back here. I've got this one that's a, a back branch. And I've got this one here, and I've also got this one up here that I'm looking at it from the front. They're kind of distracting having all of them there. I might need to put a little wire on this to bring this up to be more of a more vertical. Because if I try to rotate this down enough to get that more vertical, yeah, that might might have done it. Yeah, I think I just fixed it. I thought maybe it. It wouldn't have rotated as well, but it did. So, I lucked out on that one. Still don't know what I want to do with these branches back here, though. This guy, I think that needs to come down. This back here comes down. That way we've got that nice swooping motion. We've got this part sticking up. We'll get that cut down. This top needs to really Need to go ahead and just take some drastic actions to, just to knock that back, kind of let it regrow, thicken in a lot. Decide what to do back here. I think we could bring that down, kind of fill that this area in here. With that back branch, which I think we'll do. Let me get a small piece of wire here. Don't need a very big wire for for this branch. It's it's pretty small. Um, I think what I'll do is bring this up here. I'll run it along some of this wire that's already on this top branch and just kind of continue that out there just to basically anchor it against something. And then start around this back branch. Again, this is really, um, really small wire and I'm putting it on really loose. It's not going to take much to hold this branch in shape because it is a young branch. That's why you've got to be really careful and just wrap it on really loose just to keep from damaging the, the branch. I think that'll work. Cut off the excess. And we'll see what it looks like from the front. And get it positioned. I think that'll work. Now that we've used that to, I think I'm still going to let this one grow out, but what I am going to do is take some of this growth that's up next to the trunk off, just so I can kind of see if this is shaping up the way I want it to. Yeah, bring it down a little bit just to fill that 
gap in and give that a little depth in there. So when you look through the negative space, you see some, some green in the background. Let's take off some of these downward facing leaves here. Just to give that a little more of a pad look. Throw the bottoms flat. This one's downward here. That cleaned it up a little bit. Um, it's got a decent shape, even you know, front to back. We've got some depth. Nice, nice shape for this little guy. Let's take off some of these other downward facing ones. Like I said, this has got to fill in quite a bit up here, which it will. I'll just keep it. Maybe even go back a little bit shorter just to encourage that ramification. And basically grow a whole new top on it. So I could even bring that down shorter, but I think that's all all we'll do for today. <clears throat> See if it's, it may sprout out down in here some, and then I could bring it down, but I think we'll leave it like that for today. Yeah, I kind of like the way this, this one ended up. I think what I'll do, though, if I have enough wire on this one, let's add some That, you know, I've got a little kind of a little loop or, or bend, you know, kind of like a little roller coaster up and then down. But then looking at it down from the top, I also have a little bit of a bend where it's it's kind of an S shape looking at looking from the top down. So just adds a little more a little bit more interest in it, I think. Um, so. It kind of matches everything else. Everything just has that nice downward bend to it. Um, yeah, shaping up quite nicely. So we'll uh, probably leave it leave it there for today. Just take some of these leaves cleaned out of the soil here. Yep, it's shaping up nicely. So. With that, I think we'll we'll end it, but I'll give you a quick spin around. So there's the front. There's the left side. There's the back. Right side. And back to the front. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.